from a puppy with a broken leg to a kitty named after our favorite green Jedi Master, we have a little bit of something for everyone today. We're gonna tell you all about those two and so many more adorable pets right here on Pets on Parade. Morning and welcome to Pets on Parade brought to you by 3TV. I'm Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for joining us and happy almost Easter to all those who celebrate. Now the Arizona weather has definitely been a little tricky recently with these wild swings in temperature but don't worry this bunny can definitely help you weather the storm. We're going to tell you all about this little girl as well as show you just how tiny she used to be when she first came to AHS. And if you You've always been wanting to help us and our pets, but not sure about volunteering alone, we have the perfect solution for you. From volunteering with your coworkers to getting a big group together of family and friends, we're gonna tell you about this great way to assist our pets. And before we introduce you to our pets on today's show, we wanna talk about this sweet pup. Every day we care for hundreds of animals like Lucky. Lucky was found by a good Samaritan near a dumpster in Phoenix, so emaciated that his bones were visible and his gait was impaired due to malnourishment. Today he's healing and gaining weight in his foster hero home and has even doubled his weight since then. Last year alone, more than 13,000 animals received a second chance at life thanks to our life-saving program from simple vaccinations to surgeries. And we just want to thank all of you for helping us save twice as many animals this spring. And thanks to the support of Hills Pet Nutrition, you can double your gift today up to $15,000. Make sure to visit azhumane.org slash hills to donate and save twice as many absolutely wonderful pets like Lucky here. And we talk about our life-saving ICUs every week here on Pets on Parade, but we've never get tired of seeing how much our babies have grown thanks to them, including our first pup of the day, Ollie. It truly is incredible to see just how teeny tiny he was <laughs> to now being 20 pounds just a few months later. Linda, please tell us about this adorable baby. Okay, yes, Ollie here is an 11-week-old pit bull mix. And he was born in our maternity suites at the shelter. And believe it or not, he was the smallest of seven. So you can only imagine how big the other ones were. He is incredibly playful. And he ended up going to a foster family. And they treated him for some nasal congestion, some discharge, a little bit of a cough. And he's all healing well now. And we have found that he's incredibly playful. And he does love these treats. He's treat motivated. And he also has a little bit of a problem, though, with being car sick. He doesn't like to drive in cars very well, but that could be because he's so young and his inner ear may not be completely developed. So we can treat that and that can be treated. It's a condition that if you took to your veterinarian, could possibly prescribe some kind of um, like um, what we take for Dramamine, things like that, but for canines. So if you're interested in a playful, silly puppy, we don't know how big he's going to get right now. He's only 11 weeks old. Here is Ollie. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about him driving, so that's good. He's going to be your trusty co-pilot. Thank you so much for that, Linda. And AHS certainly has seen quite the increase of bunnies this year. And with the Easter holiday this weekend, we want to ensure that people know what it takes to properly care for these sweet babies. Right, Perry? Absolutely, uh, Kelsey. This little one right here, this is a six-month-old uh, little rabbit that came in with her sibling as an over-the-counter surrender. She went right to uh, foster because of uh, the virus, the RHDV2, which we've talked about in the past, it was kind of a formality. She came out of foster just fine and she's now ready for adoption. She was so small that she actually just got spayed yesterday. So she didn't make weight until then. So she's a tiny little thing and she's really, really beautiful, like a lion head mix of some sort, really cute. Uh, you know, tomorrow is Easter and I'm sure you've heard the stories about people getting rabbits for their children for Easter and then discarding them after that, giving them away, ignoring them, whatever. I, I hope that doesn't happen, but you know, it doesn't matter what, what you get an animal for, what day you get it for, or what day of the week, or what holiday, the process should always be the same, and that's to do a lot of research. Do you have the time? And time is a big one for a pet. Do you have the money? Do you have resources? Do you have to set up at home for an animal? 
And I'm going to throw another one in here. Do you have a support system? Do you have friends or family that can take care of an animal when you go out of town? Because that's a big consideration also. You have to think about all those things. They are big, big considerations. Uh, it's a big responsibility. It is like having a child, and especially young ones like this, because they just require extra special care. We have a lot of uh, resources at our shelter on animals of all kinds, including critters. Just go to our website, azumaine.org slash behavior, and we have some great tips on all kinds of animals. Oh my goodness, I can't get over that little nose bunny wiggles. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. Thank you for those great tips, Perry. And Lisa, it is a huge mystery as to why you've been paired up with this dog. I just can't even imagine why, um, but I guess you're with them, so we're gonna just have to find out and see. <laughs> this is Roscoe, he is my lap Doberman. He is two years old, and you will meet his brother here shortly in the show. Um, he was surrendered for uh, the owner's health reasons. Roscoe and his brother need a new situation at this point. Um, he is doing great. He is learning how to be an indoor dog. They got checked out by our veterinarians when they came in. He's recently been neutered. So, but Dobermans are wonderful dogs. They are wonderful. Um, people think of them as protectors, but I will say they're, they're kind of just people dogs. They want to be around their people, and I think it just comes naturally for them to want to protect. He's pretty friendly right out of the gate. Active, untrained, so at two years old, and he's about 60 pounds, he will need somebody to right away teach him all the ropes and teach him. If you don't want him on the couch, teach him right now. Now is a great time, because as you can see, he's gonna take his liberties and sit right on you if he wants to. But um, he probably previously lived outdoors, so needs some patience and some potty training. It's a great time of the year to spend some time out in the yard with your dog while they're going potty before you bring them back in. Dobermans are smart, they'll learn quickly. So if you're thinking about a Doberman, come on down, highly trainable, they're fun to train, and I just think they're overall the greatest dogs in the world. So come on down and meet Roscoe, he will be available now for adoption. Absolutely gorgeous, thank you so much for that, Lisa. Very cute this cat is. <laughs> Okay, so besides my really bad Yoda impression, I'm not sure how much this little guy um, resembles um, him, but regardless, he's adorable. Maybe it's the ears. It might be the ears. He is so sweet. He's just been purring away. He was letting me hold him like a little baby, so he's so loving and sweet. He was found with his siblings in a bag of mulch. They were abandoned, and their little eyes were still shut, so they went to our uh, kitten ICU and then went to foster for bottle feeding. Uh, they gained, he gained weight, well they all did, and he was able to be neutered because he made weight. And he's just such a little sweet kitten, but he also reminds me to just let everyone know out there how great adoption is and how important it is to adopt instead of shop. Uh, we have some great animals in the shelter, and when you adopt an animal, you also make room for another pet that's in need, so we're able to save more pets that way. It's uh, often cheaper than buying, and we have some great, a lot of people think, oh, you can't get a designer cat. I know personally that you can get a Siamese, that's what this is. I have a Russian Blue from AHS, so you can get the fancy kitties too, but then you also just get a wonderful, loving pet. So consider adoption, you know, as your first option, actually, because we have some really sweet animals who really just need a second chance. It wasn't anything they did to end up in the shelter. They just found themselves in a circumstance and could use a second chance for a great home. So consider adoption and consider little Yoda. He's ready for you. <laughs> absolutely. Those are all absolutely amazing reasons to be able to save the lives of our pets. Thank you so much, Stacy. And make sure you guys don't change that channel because we have an adorable pup who is sure to make all of your gray days sunny. We're going to introduce you to Sunny Girl after the break. <laughs> And welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now we have a very adorable pup who's always bright and in a sunny disposition, even though her story isn't so sunny, right Janine? Yes, um, she was brought in from, our field team had to confiscate her because her owners passed away and she had nowhere to go. And so she's 14 weeks old, so a little chihuahua mix. Sunny girl, she, I was trying to get her to play with toys, but she wants people. She loves like kisses and rolling over and she's, her tail won't stop wagging. So she's ready to make someone the center of their life. 
but it, we have a thing called the Legacy Circle. This is a great way for you to give back to Arizona Humane Society, and that is where you would include the Humane Society in your will, and, and they will, if you happen to have your own pets and no one to care for them, they will find loving homes for them, it, which is a wonderful thing. And also, they will be, you'll be making donations in your name. So that is a great way to help. And it's, you know, especially, we have so many pet lovers in our community. This would be a perfect way to help out the Humane Society. But, oh my gosh, I just have to say so many great things about this puppy. The brindle coloring, the disposition, the size. I mean, he, she, sorry, you're a girl. Yes, you are. Yeah, she's just like a little love bug. And she's so snuggy and she loves treats. So you can train her in a heartbeat. Absolutely. When our pets are tree motivated, they yes. will do anything for you. And speaking of treats, we have an adorable baby who's in need of some time to recover, but it looks like she's found the biggest <laughs> donut I've ever seen, Gary. <laughs> Heck yeah, who doesn't want a donut on Saturday? And it's funny, Kelsey, because this is Shadow, and she looks like the bigger version of the dog that Janine just had with a very similar story. She was also confiscated by our field team, and unfortunately when she was taken to our second chance animal trauma hospital, it was noted that her back leg is actually broken. So she's searching for a foster home right now to recover. Um, you know, her injury will probably take about six to eight weeks to recover. Now, this is only a five-month-old puppy, so she's filled with some shenanigans. She actually decided that she didn't want her splint on and took it off right before coming on TV today. So back to the trauma hospital she will go to get that splint back on. But as a foster for the Arizona Humane Society, we provide all of the supplies, the medical care, and most importantly, the guidance that you would need on your adventure as a foster hero. And in this case, that might look like some additional support from our behavior team. A pet like Shadow is going to need extra enrichment in her kennel while she's on crate rest. So maybe a nice stuffed Kong, a slow feeder bowl, anything to help engage her, her mental activity is going to be helpful for her. And as she progresses in her healing, our doctors will give you tips and tricks on what level of activity she'll be able to have. So the further her bone heals, you know, she might be able to go for some slow controlled leash walks. Definitely no running or jumping, but don't you worry, we'll let you know exactly what you should be doing. Anyway, this sweet girl shadow, she just needs a home. So we certainly hope that you'll step up today. Give us a call, send us an email, check us out, azhumane.org backslash foster and make shadow a happy <laughs> home today <laughs> <laughs> looks like you found the secret to getting her calm is just a lot of belly rubs and a, sh and a sugar crash from that big donut so thank you for that <laughs> carrie and saint patrick's day may be long gone but it's always a good time for jameson we're going to introduce you to this jameson after the break Thank you so much for tuning back into Arizona's cutest show. We saw this cutie before the break, and Perry, he is just too adorable for words. What is Jameson's story? Yeah, newsflash. This is a <laughs> cute dog. <laughs> really cute, a real, uh, one that you're going to want to carry around. This is an absolutely gorgeous little, little pup. Came in, uh, it's a two-year-old female, or male, first of all. Came in uh, as an injured stray and uh, noticed that pretty uh, bad limp on its left front leg. Didn't know exactly what was wrong, sent her off to our second chance animal trauma hospital where they did some meridiographs and those things came back negative. So really what it was was just a soft tissue injury. It's all healed up now. Little Jameson here is ambulatory on all four legs, does very, very well. He is a cute guy. He is, uh, they say he's a little bit vocal. I haven't heard him make a peep yet. And I'll just tell you, he is a perfect little lap pet right now. You know, I mentioned that second chance animal trauma hospital. It's the largest, one of the largest trauma hospitals in the Southwest and it's pretty small. We're opening up our new facility. Uh, we're expecting it to open later this year. It's gonna be great. It's a centrally located place near the zoo. Uh, it's our Papago campus. And with that new facility, we expect we're gonna be able to treat about 25% more animals in that hospital. We already saved thousands of lives. We expect to save even more thousands of lives with that new place. It's gonna be a teaching hospital, an absolutely spectacular facility. 
If you want to see the progress of it, and you'll watch you see some videos of construction, just go to our website, azumaine.org slash new. Absolutely. We cannot wait to get in there. Plus, those views are going to be immaculate. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that, Perry. And we just love our orange tabbies and, of course, all cats, really. But this one sure has been through the <laughs> ringer, Janine. <laughs> Better to hear you with my deer, with my cone. <laughs> <laughs> he is, this is Alan, a three-year-old orange tabby, which... Interesting enough, orange tabbies 99% of the time are male, so he's right on, on cue with that. And he came in, was brought to an emergency animal clinic where we will go and pick up all the pets that maybe will come into the clinic as injured strays. And we bring back to our second trance animal hospital. He has a wound on his little face. He had a little abscess, so they drained it, and now they're caring for it. But it's like almost healed up, but you know, he is so snuggly and lovey and oh my gosh, he's rolling around. He just wants affection. He is just a sweet doll. I just love him. And he, uh, we have, when you adopt a, any pet from our, um, our shelter, you get one thing is, which will be coming in handy for him is a VCA animal hospital certificate. And you get to do a, your first vet checkup with him up to $500. So if anything is wrong or if you need any further care, then you're set. And, but he's on his road to recovery right now. And if you're looking for just a sweet, lovey, roly poly lap cat, <laughs> this is your boy. He is just a doll. Look at him. Uh, we hardly ever have adult cats in the studio <laughs> and I don't even need to hang out to him, but I probably will. <laughs> Just absolutely, in case. absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that, Janine. Yeah, yeah, he has not met a stranger today, that is for sure. And from our trauma hospital to our thrift stores, we absolutely love our volunteers. We could not do the work that we do without them. So we want to give you a little inside look at what it's like to volunteer at the Arizona Humane Society. I love volunteering personally. I do a lot of volunteering events, um, but this is the first one that I've done with animals. It's usually having to do with people. Um, this one, this one has been amazing just because I love animals. So if you love animals, this is definitely a great event for you if you like to volunteer as well. We've taken part on a few albums, but this has to be my favorite one so far. Like, this is our first one where we've got to play with dogs and they seem so happy. So uh, this is 100% my favorite outing that we've done as a company. Our next pup is definitely competing for the fluffiest pet today. Um, but regardless of how fluffy she is, I think she's earned the titles. What do you think? I mean, she's definitely earned the title of Polar. <laughs> yes, actually, this is Polar, <laughs> and this is my sister Sherry. And Polar is a four year old Pyrenees, and she um, came to us from the Reach Out program through the Navajo Nation. And she went to foster care because she was nursing her puppies when we first got her. So Oh, let's get some treats. I'm trying to get her little face over. There she is. So she was rescued and brought to us, and she was foster, uh, taken into a foster care uh, to look after her and her nursing puppies. And one of the things about her, she's been used to living with other animals, other dogs, but she is quite shy, incredibly calm, but very shy. And if you are considering taking her home, maybe consider taking her as her, your only pet. Um, if you decide you have other dogs, have a meet and greet. Make sure that she gets along with them. They like her and she's used to the home and gets used to the property. Um, if there are challenges, we have on our website behavior classes, training classes. I mean, a, a resources are galore for people that are trying to adopt a new pet into their new home. And, oh, she's a good girl. So any, I don't know her training's background, but she seems to be very calm, and I think she's very secure with herself. This is Polar, or Polar Bear, and my sister Sherry. 
<laughs> we absolutely love a trio of amazing ladies. Thank you so much for that, Linda. And we have a couple absolutely gorgeous babies still waiting for you to meet them. We're going to tell you about sweet little Zippy after the break. Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, it's pets on parade. Well, okay, this kitty is unfortunately doesn't walk around with her own theme song, but we think it's very appropriate since she's named Zippy and she's pretty energetic, Stacy. She is very zippy right now, <laughs> as you can see. She is the uh, sister of Yoda, who you saw earlier, and uh, they went to Bottle Baby for Foster. And now, as you can see, she's nice and healthy and ready to roll and ready to play. But Zippy and I wanted to remind you that uh, AHS summer camps are almost here. And this is a great way for kids of, from ages 5 to 17 to be exposed to all different kinds of pets, learn about them, and actually handle them and be around them. So it's a great way for uh, younger kids to maybe get over some fears of different kinds of pets and learn about them and learn how to uh, treat pets with you know, gentleness and, and kindness. And also maybe for older kids to even find a future career. If they're trying to figure out what they want to do after high school, this could be a great way to say, oh, I want a career in pets. <laughs> so it's a great camp. You can sign up and find more information on azhumane.org slash camps. But look into that. It's great for all ages. And you get to meet little ones like this. But this is Zippy, and she's ready to roll with you. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much for that. And yes, our camps are amazing. I wish I was able to join one. Too. I'm a little too old. <laughs> And when Millie, the 10-year-old golden doodle, developed a large lump on her leg, her mom would stop at nothing to get her help. After pouring in thousands of dollars to determine the cause, Leah needed assistance to continue treatment for her furry best friend. She reached out to AHS Community Support Coordinator just for that, for her help. Millie has saved my life, and she's been there for me through many difficult times, Leah told us. Please help me be there for her. Well, thanks to the support of the Gray Muzzle Organization and AHS's Bridge the Gap program, Millie was able to get the care she needed. Over the past 14 years, the Gray Muzzle Organization has provided more than $3.8 million in grants to animal welfare organizations to support senior pets. We're so thankful for their support and for this amazing partnership. And Lisa, we're keeping you with the Dobermans today. And this one is quite a handsome fella, just like his brother earlier. Yeah, this is Rufus. He is one year old. So Somewhere along the line, these two are related, and they are going to be adopted out separately. Both of them had previously lived together, but um, we do think it's best for them to be separate and live their own lives. Rufus is much more cautious, nervous, got a little nervous yawn going on there um, of new things. He is much slower, much like you can tell his brother does everything first. If you've got treats, his brother takes everything. So this guy's looking for somebody who's patient and can do some confidence building with him. Um, as you can see, purebred dogs come in all the time to Arizona Humane Society and all the shelters in town. And we, they also work with the breed specific rescues. There's a Doberman rescue that I volunteer with. And all these dogs, we work as a team. Sometimes they need to go to county because they're on a stray hold and that's where people look for strays. Sometimes, like these guys, their owner reached out for help. He was having some illness problems himself and needed to surrender the dogs. So the Arizona Humane Society could take these two in right away. Sometimes when they're a little too shy, they call the rescues to help out. So come down and meet Rufus, give him a little bit of extra time, but he is a one-year-old red Doberman. Both of them are beautiful. Oh, absolutely, I love that. And before we end today's show, we wanna tell you about our Toyota raffle, where you can win a brand new Toyota RAV4, thanks to Valley Toyota dealers. This is valued at $32,000. It is absolutely an amazing way to not only potentially be able to win a brand new car for yourself, but every single dollar of that raffle goes right back to helping sick, injured, and abused pets, just like you see right here on Pets on Parade each and every day. If you're interested in getting a raffle ticket for the potential to win that brand new car, you can visit azhumane.org slash Toyota. You do have a couple months to buy, but I recommend buying before they sell out. I wish I could do it. Ah, but you know what you don't have to wish for? It's, right, it's coming back right here for Pets on Parade next week. We'll see you then.